So I just want to take a case study. Swift Networks is a company that we actually listed on the stock market. The code is SW1. What I mean by listed is that we met Swift, I'd say about a year ago, um, where they were, I'm not saying an early stage business, but they had a few, call it, I'd say, I'd say structural issues, but their cost bases were way too high. They were paying $400,000 uh, a year on rent for an office with 20 people. That, that's a lot, right? The wages of these businesses were too high, but there was still a good business. 97% of the revenues uh, recurring. So what Swift does, it's what's known as, a, as everyone heard of, an SaaS model, right? They're a content as a service, right? So they have content, they've got relationships with Foxtel, they've got relationships with Optus, um, and, and they've, got they've got their own brand called Dwizzy TV, and they distribute that content into mining camps. What we liked about Swift, more specifically, is their ability to take that good solid model, they were doing about $14 million of revenue, and distribute that and grow into different verticals, whether it is aged care or hospitality. When you're doing that, and that's just, this is a big difference, is that when you're backing these type of companies, you have to back management, right? So Xavier Chris, just a little bit about Xavier and Ahmed, he took a business from zero to $200 million and sold that. Then he took another business from zero to $600 million and sold that. And now he's involved in this little, $15 million revenue on an enterprise value of $7 million. Enterprise value, for those who don't know what that means, when you're looking um, at enterprise value, it's really your market cap, your market cap, right? Less your cash, plus your debt. So when you're looking at your, uh, when, when it's really important to look at your enterprise value rather than your market cap. So your market cap is your number of shares times what the stock price is. So for an unlisted business or a startup, it's a number of shares on issue times what you think it's gonna be valued as a stock price. That gives you your, your, your market cap. So it's important to look at your enterprise value because that it takes into account your cash and that takes you to, into account your debt. Okay, but this business, $15 million of revenue, trading on an EV of $7 million with one and a half to $2 million in EBITDA, i.e. They were they finished their, their life cycle in death. They finished the, the break even side. They're actually cash flow positive, revenue positive. You've got a manager there that's taken, I mean, you know, two businesses from zero to six hundred million dollars and, and has created shareholder value. And look, these businesses, we're happy to put a peak brand behind, my name behind it, listed on the ASX, and it's gone from 15 cents to about 26, 27 cents today in, in a matter of two or three months. Now, is 80% return in three months a good return on investment? Sure. Is it better than cash of 3%? Yes, right? So this is just an example of the type of sort of case study and, 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 and if you picked up the phone of Xavier and Ben knows him quite well um, and asked how much due diligence did Peak do, a lot of due diligence, I two months, three months work of work, right? So a lot of work, I mean, meeting managers, speaking to the suppliers, having a look at the financials, um, looking at the contractors, speaking to the other guys. So look, it's, it's a lot of work. It's a lot of work that goes in the background.